On the road to Emmaus, Luke 24, 13 to 35. Some of you may wear glasses. Glasses can help us see things clearly. You may not have trouble with your eyesight, but all of us have difficulty seeing and understanding things at times. This is what happened to some disciples. On the first day of his resurrection, Jesus appeared to two of his disciples on the road to Emmaus and taught them about himself. They had trouble understanding what they had seen. After his resurrection, Jesus appeared to his disciples for 40 days before he ascended back up into heaven. The appearances of Jesus are told to us in the Gospels. The Gospels are the first four books in the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. For three years, the disciples had seen Jesus heal the sick, forgive sin, and raise the dead. Many people had been given hope. They had followed Jesus and were excited about his preaching. But now it was different. Just three days ago, Jesus had been crucified on the cross. It was an awful day. Everyone had denied Jesus. All the crowds were gone. It was a terrible time of crying and despair. The disciples were so sad that Jesus had died. Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea had taken his body down from the cross and laid it in the tomb. Everyone had given up hope. The disciples were afraid and had gone into hiding. They were afraid that the Jewish leaders would be looking for them to kill them too just like they had Jesus. After Jesus' body was placed in the tomb, the soldiers had put a big stone in front of the doorway. Then, on the third day, an angel of the Lord had come and rolled back the stone. Jesus was alive! He had said that he would come back to life in three days, and he did! On the first morning of his resurrection, the women had gone to the tomb to anoint the body of Jesus with spices for burial. Two angels appeared to the women and told them that Jesus was alive and that they should go back and tell the disciples. The angels said that Jesus would be going to Galilee and that there they would see him. Just as he promised, just a little while later, Jesus appeared first to Mary and then to the other women. The news of Jesus' resurrection spread to the disciples. On the same day that, G that the Lord Jesus rose from the tomb, two of his disciples left Jerusalem and were walking along a road out of Jerusalem. One of the disciples was named Cleophas. They were on their way to a village called Emmaus, which was seven miles outside of the city. They were talking about the events that led to Jesus being put on a cross to die. As they talked, a man came up and walked alongside them. It was Jesus, but they were kept from recognizing him. Their eyes were blurred, so they did not see that the man was Jesus. The stranger asked, What are you talking about? 
they stopped and stood still, looking sad. Cleophas asked, Are you the only person in Jerusalem who does not know what has happened? What things? asked the stranger. Don't you know about Jesus of Nazareth? He was the mighty prophet of God who performed many miracles before God and the people. He is the one that was handed over by the chief priests to be sentenced to death. And they crucified him, the disciples explained. We had hoped that he would save us and redeem Israel. It has been three days since his death on the cross. But then, this morning, when some of our women went to the tomb, it was empty. His body was missing. The women came back telling us that the angels told them that Jesus was alive. Then some of our friends, Peter and John, went to the tomb to see what had happened. And it was definitely empty. But they did not see the resurrected Jesus. Then the stranger began to explain these events to the two disciples. He said, O oh, foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. It was necessary that Christ suffer and die on the cross, and then come back in glory. And then the stranger began with Moses and all the prophets, and began to explain their prophecies. He said, These prophets had written down that the Savior of the world would die and rise from the dead. He was the mighty prophet who had spoken the word of God. He was truly God's messenger because many believed in him and some were even healed. His two friends must have wondered how anyone could know so much about God's promises. How foolish you are not to believe what the prophets said would happen many years ago. They told us the Savior Messiah would have to suffer before rising to glory. As they approached Emmaus, it was getting late. The stranger looked as if he was going to travel on further. The two disciples had enjoyed talking to Jesus so much that they said, Please stay and eat with us. It is almost dark. So Jesus decided to eat supper with them. As they ate together, the stranger took the bread and thanked God for it. Next, he broke it and gave it to them. This was just like Jesus had done at the Last Supper with his disciples the night before he died. He had broken the bread and said it was like his body being broken on the cross. This wasn't just some man they met on the road. And immediately, God allowed the two disciples to see who the stranger was. Jesus! At that moment, Jesus disappeared from their sight. Weren't our hearts warmed as he spoke to us and explained what is written about the Savior? They exclaimed. They got up and rushed back to Jerusalem at once. They walked seven miles in the dark. They couldn't wait to get back. The news was too good to keep quiet. They had to tell. They found the other disciples locked up in a room and praying. Excitedly, they told them what had happened. It's true, they said. Jesus is alive. We saw him. We walked with him. 
He told us wonderful things. We ate with him, and when he broke bread, we knew it was him. They were so excited and happy. Jesus was alive, and he had helped them understand God's plans by explaining the prophet's messages. Well, while the two disciples were telling their story, suddenly Jesus appeared and stood right there among them. Peace be with you, he said. Everyone was frightened, thinking that they were seeing a ghost. Why are you afraid and in doubt, asked Jesus. Look at my hands and feet. It's me. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones as I have. And then Jesus showed them his hands and feet. The disciples were full of joy and amazement, but they could not still really believe that Jesus was alive. Do you have something I can eat? Jesus asked. They gave him some broiled fish, and Jesus ate it as they watched. Jesus opened their minds so they could understand from the scriptures that it had been written he would suffer and die and then rise from the dead. He told them that they would tell others this good news and urge people to turn to God and be forgiven in the name of Jesus. He told them to remain in Jerusalem until the Holy Spirit would come. He would give the disciples great power to be his witnesses. And then Jesus disappeared from their sight once more. The Bible says that for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared several more times to lots of different people. Jesus wanted all of his disciples and followers to know that he was not dead. He was alive. In this lesson, Jesus' two disciples learned the good news that Jesus is alive. The tomb is empty. It's exciting to learn the truth about who Jesus is and that he is alive. God has given us the Bible so that we can learn more about Jesus. Our memory verse is Isaiah 2-3. He will teach us his ways so that we may walk in his paths. To walk in his paths means to obey Jesus. Jesus wants us to learn more about him so that we can obey him. Jesus proved that he was really God by his resurrection. His death on the cross had paid the debt of our sin. Now his resurrection gave us the hope of eternal life with him. The disciples needed Jesus to open their eyes to understand this truth. Jesus' disciples were happy and thankful when they saw Jesus was with them. We too can rejoice that Jesus had paid the price for our redemption and is risen from the dead. If we believe in him as our Savior, we can have the gift of eternal life. Let's pray and thank him. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that you loved us so much that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross to pay for our sins. Thank you that Jesus rose from the grave just as he said he would. We rejoice that he has given to us the gift of salvation to all who believe in him. Thank you for being with us everywhere we go. We praise you for being so good to us. In your name we pray. Amen. 
Remember, thank God that Jesus is alive and is with us. Thank you.